we are back again with a new mold so I did mention in the last video that I was going to try this with the pigment paste so if you I'm, I'm not going to show the whole mixing of the pigment paste if you haven't seen video 63 I'll sh I show in there what I do but what I'm going to do this time is just add the one more scoop extra of the white so that's all I'm doing differently this time when I'm mixing my colours, my pigment paste, is I'm just adding one more scoop of the white. Right, <laughs> we're going to be using the collaboration resin alongside the Armour Art pigment pastes. And I'm using again, same as video 63, the resinate white pigment paste. Right, let's get mixing. Right, my resin is mixed before I pour. Massive shout out to my channel members and those who are new to my membership. Thank you very much for signing up and to anyone who's bought me a coffee and a super thanks. Now, on my previous video where I made the um, the alcohol ink versions with this mould, I put the link in the description. But what happens after I'd posted it and several of you already purchased it, the, the company that was providing this mould changed the mould. It's really cheeky to this mold and up the price to 30 something dollars which is really really bad I've checked through my tracking and luckily nobody purchased that mold so I have updated the the link to this actual mold from a different supplier this time so just make sure if you're clicking my links that the images match up with what you're seeing in front of you right now <laughs> I really don't want anybody ordering the wrong stuff okay same as that previous video 63 I think if I remember <laughs> I've forgotten already um, I've mixed up my white base first but I added like I said one more of the scoops of white and I've just mixed up my three colors ready to go so in this needle tip bottle here in case you're wondering and you haven't seen that video it is just 99.9% .9 isopropanol which we'll mix in one at a time um, before we drop it into our moulds and what I'm going to do with these also is what I also did with my alcohol ink versions and just back them once they're cured with this was a white pigment paste mixed with resin and this was a black pigment paste mixed with resin but I might skip that part out if you, if you haven't seen it it's, it's pretty simple to do it's it's in the alcohol ink version before this one so I have in here just a tiny amount of resin it's not even covering the whole surface of the cavity but I'm just going to use that as my tester because we know we need that kind of that ring that ripple effect when we drop in our pigmented resin so we know it's ready to go just didn't have quite enough for a proper tester piece so again I'm just adding that alcohol content until I get the consistency where it drops but also spreads quite nicely and give us that hopefully give us that ripple effect I'm happy with that so I'm just gonna start dropping you don't have to be tidy, you can just flick them in, doesn't matter. It's art. <laughs> you can be as messy as you want with this. Just try and keep your mould a little bit clean. Which I'm not doing right now. <laughs> Lock my focus. as messy as you wish but I do want some of these drops to be larger so I can just add over the top and I'm half expecting this to um, for some of these to sink and blob possibly it's kind of pushing that it's a seesaw to get the balance right with this When I say the balance, I mean the balance between the the resin viscosity, the alcohol, 
and the the pigment weight because the alcohol keeps those pigments afloat but then we want the pigments to also push through the resin at the same time so it's just finding that that balance that we need I think that would do with my pink I'll leave I've got a couple I haven't how many have I got that I haven't put any in? One, two, three, four. I tell you what, we're going to go with pink in this one at the end. I changed my mind. Now for our purple. And I want them to be quite large. Doesn't matter if you mix these together either. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. And again, I want some negative space with these. Just so that those backgrounds can show. Let's do the two up here that I haven't put anything in yet. Don't want to forget about those. Sorry, lock my focus again. Oh, missed one. Right now for our yellow. Now I'm probably not going to add yellow to all of them because I do want some of that negative space. But the ones that I've only got purple in, we're going to go with purple and yellow just so that purple's not on its own. And whatever I've got left in my mixing cup goes into my skull mold. So I'm not wasting any leftover resin. It's always handy to have that side mold for any leftover resin to go into. I think we'll go in this one here with a bit. Because why not? Okay. That is all of our colours in. That yellow is just, you can see that rippling happening now. Some of it looks like it's sitting below the surface, but then some of it is actually doing what we want it to do. So we're going to be back shortly for the stir. Actually, what I'm going to do, so this design was originally created by Luna Designs, and she stirred hers in her video. She stirred hers straight away and then come back and did a second stir. So on this one here, I will probably forget, but I'm going to do the two stars. So we're just going to mix everything up. I know I said about negative space, but one won't hurt. I just want to see what it looks like mixing these colours up now and then coming back to it. Be interesting to see. Right, I'll see you shortly. Okay, I'm not so sure we're going to be able to get a background on these. <laughs> They've kind of spread quite a lot. And this one I might be able to. We're just probably going to do it anyway. I don't know whether to wait for the resin to thicken up a little bit more. No, 
no, we're just going to carry on. Actually, I'll do these two and then come back in about another 30 minutes because it's, it's starting to get colder here in the UK. So you have to kind of adjust the Alistair. It's stringy, but it's just not thick enough for my, my liking. So I'm going to come back in about 30 minutes. Okay, it's been about 90 minutes in total now. And I've had a peek at the side of the mould and I can just see some sporing, which is really good. So we are just going to finish stirring these ones. You can see it's a bit thicker now. So if you stir too early as well, you won't really get that pulling effect that I've mentioned in quite a few videos before which actually gives us that feathering effect. Now we're going to stir this one again. I'm not happy with how I did that. It's a bit jaggedy. So I'm going to go in again. interesting to see how that one comes out <laughs> really wanted less coverage in these but it is what it is I still need to top them up anyway Hopefully this time we'll have bigger spores than video 63. I can see them. Let me see if I can take you down a bit closer where I've just pulled that through. You can see the spores here. Which is good. I really have <laughs> tried this with the collaboration resin so many times now and each time I keep saying I need to add more white uh, hopefully I've got those those little spores <laughs> Should we stir this one? We might as well stir it. I've had instances where the test pieces have actually been the highlight <laughs> of the whole video. And there we have it. As I said, I'm just going to top these up off camera. It is just a case of mixing up the, the black or white pigment. Or if you wanted to go over colour with resin, then just top them up once they're cured. I'll see you for the demold. Okay, the moment of truth. Two of these I added. After I did my stir, I added some black alcohol ink to two of them I can't remember I think that's one of them because the black has kind of come through a little bit where I did the white pigment paste but let's see what we got much better definitely helped add in more more of the white this time wow you can't really see the backing, but I still, like I said, I, I needed to top them up anyway. So there are a couple with some negative space. But that is stunning. Wow. Mm 
What do we got? You can just see a bit of the white up there, but we've definitely got much better spores. Love it. Well, at least I know I have now cracked that <laughs> with the collaboration resin. So there's no going back now. This is the one we did the the double stir. Just mix the colours up a, a, a bit more. You can see like bits of yellow amongst the rest. I'll tell you what, I'm loving this mould. Ah, this is one that I added. So I added the black arco ink after stirring and then I topped it up with the white. You could just see the black coming through. There is another one, but I can't remember which one it is. <laughs> wow. That is stunning. Those colours really work well together. Really nice. Four to go. Trim those off. So much better adding that extra bit of white. This is the other one that I added the black alcohol ink to. You can just see it. It's really, really nice. Two to go. Ah, that was the test piece, wasn't it? If only that was a little bit further kind of in the centre, but that is still really cool. This is what I wanted on most of the pieces, that minimalistic look. So I'll try that again next time. But as a test piece, <laughs> that is really cool. See that with a black background would really pop. Last one. What did we get? Wow. Just see the white coming through there. Adds a bit of depth to the piece. But again, on a big chunky bale, that would look really nice. I'm trying to get one off of my other pieces. Super nice. Right, guys, again, give the video a thumbs up, drop me a comment if you haven't subbed. Hit that button for me and I will see you for the next one. Bye for now.